Alright guys, welcome back to Golf Made Easy. I figured I'd make a video tonight. We're out playing nine holes, trying to get it in. Uh, super exciting in Arkansas. Everything's going to be open back up the 18th of this month. So uh, definitely going to be able to make a lot more videos coming up very soon. So I figured I'd just get one in before that date comes out. Um, I wanted to explain to you guys, I have so many students come up to me and complain about how they can never keep their driver in play. If they could, they would. their life would be so much better. They would go from a guy who shoots 95 to 85, which is a huge thing. So I wanted to give you guys a couple tricks that helps me on visualizing my tee shot because the golf courses actually set us up for failure. And it's really important to recognize that they set you up before you even tee up your ball. So most of the times, these tee boxes right here are never angled down the middle of the fairway. Like right now, they're actually angled down the left side. So if I tee up my ball and I set my feet up square to this tee box, I'm gonna probably hit this tree. And if not, I'm gonna realize that I'm aiming this way and block it. So what I do before I ever get ready to take a practice swing or I hit a ball, I pick a spot and set my own tee boxes. So I want to hit a draw that starts from the right hand side. When I set up, I'm going to make sure that I'm walking up from behind the ball and squaring my club up to the right side, making sure that now my feet are square to where my club is aimed. So right now, I'm completely way to the right compared to where this tee box has me aimed. So it's really important to recognize that and visualize it so you can pick up on that so you have the best chance to keep the ball in play. Now, so I'm going to get ready. I'm going to try to aim right at that big tree straight out there and just hit a nice draw. The last part is after you pick up on this visualization, now you gotta execute. So it's not good enough to just set up and aim that way. Now when I go to fire my club, I set up to that tree and I get ready to fire. I need to make sure that I'm firing this club to that tree and understanding that I'm gonna let my hands roll over to create the draw, but it needs to be to the tree. So now that I've recognized that I've pictured what I want in my head, I might not do it. I'm not going to lie, that might not be the result. But I've at least given myself a really good chance and I've made my own plan. So I'm going to try to execute this for you guys and I'm going to give you one other trick that might help you. So I'm going to aim at the tree. I'm going to square up my body, and I'm going to focus on firing to it. So I hit a draw that started at the tree, but I overhooked it. So, you know, the, the plan was solid, but I overcooked my hands a little bit, so it was too big of a draw. But if it was a little bit softer, that's what I wanted to do. So, now the other trick is, you say, Nate, I can't hit a draw never have been able to hit a draw so what you're telling me is doing me no good so now you have to pick a plan my dad used to always tell me Nate if you're hitting a fade on the range before a tournament aim down the left hit the fade like you aren't gonna fix your game right before you go out to a big tournament play with what you have and do the work on the range later so if I was hitting a fade on the tee now my plan changes. Instead of teeing up the ball in the middle, I'm going to tee the ball up as far and as close to this left or right uh, tee marker as I can. And now I'm going to pick a new path. I'm going to give myself the room on this tee box to aim down the left and let it work back. But I need to do the same thing. I need to square up my body to my target where I want the ball to start, which is down the left side. So now, I'm gonna square up to it. I'm gonna try to just hit a high fade off the left side. Now 
Now the draw was no good, but I can say I couldn't have hit that any more perfect. So that started right down the left side and faded right down to the middle. And those extra things that you do to make sure that you're giving yourself the best chance, those are the things that are going to make you a better golfer. Visualizing is so important, especially when you're picturing a shot. Make sure you're picking your target and swinging the club through to it. Have a great day.